Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi and today we are taking a look at a few new makeup items. We've got some of the new Makeup by Mario, new plumping lip colors. We have the Viola FR Bizu blushes. So I have actually featured one of these on my channel in the past, but I picked up the other two shades. So I have all three of those. And then we also have the new shades of the Jones Road Just A Sec eyeshadows. And these were gifted to me. Thank you so much to Jones Road. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we look at the aforementioned items, I did want to show you the new La Bouche Rouge fragrances. So you can purchase a sample set like this. People who purchase from their website a lot were probably sent this set. It's like one of the perks. And so this is the set of samples. I want to show you how these, how these actually come because you know this is a little different. It's like sustainable packaging here. We've got a little tube. And when you get this, it actually comes like this. This is how it looks, right? And then you break this off and then the other end becomes a cap and you actually just kind of squirt out, funny, <laughs> you just squirt out a drop. And I have to say, I really like these fragrances. This is a little messier than, for example, a perfume spray. However, uh, it's, you know, not any messier than the little vials that you have to pull the stopper out of, the little sample vials. I actually like this better. I think it's really cool and it's cute. So um, yeah, they sent me all five of the new fragrances in this sample set and there's Rouge, Nude, Rose, Bleu, and Ombre. I'm not a fragrance person, you know, like I am not somebody who can necessarily distinguish all of the scents and give you comparisons. So I just wanted to mention though that the Rose one is my particular favorite. I really like it because it's a fresh rose but there's a touch of citrus in it. I love citrus. And then I also really like Bleu. And Bleu is more of your like unisex type of fragrance that's very clean, a uh, little bit of an astringent quality, very fresh smelling. So those are my two favorites from here. And I think, you know, after I use up the sample size, I think I'm gonna buy the rose and potentially the Bleu, but definitely the rose. <laughs> so uh, wear time on these. I would not say that they are incredibly long lasting. However, they are going to last you know, they're more like, if you're familiar with the Guerlain, Guerlain Aqua Allegorias, and I love those, I wear those all the time during the summer in particular, but they're a very light, not super long wearing, kind of like an eau de toilette type fragrance. The wear time is similar on there. So it depends on your fragrance, but I say, you know, you can smell it, you know, pretty well for four to five hours, but you're not gonna get full day wear without wanting to, you know, retouch. So looking at the La Bouche Rouge website, you can actually get this sample set for free as a gift with purchase right now. So if you're purchasing something else from their website, they will send you this sample set. So just a few key notes about these fragrances. According to La Bouche Rouge, this is a world premiere product. It's the first single material plastic-free refill made of aluminum. It's 100% upcycled and 100% recyclable aluminum refill. So you can buy your fragrances as a refill. The actual full size does have a glass bottle with a little, you know, your traditional spray and you can buy the like leather wrapped case similar to the lipstick cases as well. And each, I I believe there are five different colors, you know, depending on your particular name. So uh, just one other thing, upcycling. In this case, the fragrance itself is also upcycled. They That means that they are using patented technologies to both recover and upgrade raw materials waste from a variety of industries. So it says, for the first time in the world of perfume, more than 30% of the ingredients used in our formulas are upcycled on the base of organic alcohol, starring rose, cedar, and spices. And of course, they have detailed descriptions of all five of the fragrances, all of the top notes, base notes, and so forth on their website. And I'll leave that linked down below in the description box. So let's move on to the Jones Road Just A Sec eyeshadows. And again, these were gifted to me by Jones Road. We have 10 grams of product in here and we have a one year shelf life. These are made in the US, and this is not a new product, but we do have new shades. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Let's start off with the lightest. The lightest is going to be Baby Pink, 
And I have to say, I did think that this was gonna be cooler. Like in the pan here, or in the, this is a glass jar, but in this jar, it does look like it's uh, more of a warm peachy pink. On the eyes, I have to say, it looks a little bit, a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler on my eyes than it does in the arm swatch, but it's definitely more peach than pink in my opinion. And I think it's a really pretty shade. The texture of these, these are kind of, you know, when you touch it, it's a little spongy, uh, very cushiony feeling, and there's a little bit of glide. They go on nicely. They remind me of a slightly more moist version of the Chantecaille Mermaid eye colors. If you've used those, those can be a little bit dry. Think of a cushier version of those. And notice that the size of the hole here is great for finger or brush opening. Next, this is the shade I was most excited for. This is Cool Taupe. I have to say, um, the Jones Road line in their eyeshadows, they've got some really great cool tone neutrals in the powder shadows. I was very excited to see this one. Although I have to say, I don't think it's really a cool taupe. It is a taupe, but it's a little bit warm. Taupe is really, in my opinion, an even blend of brown and gray. And I would say this definitely has more brown, more of a golden based brown than any gray in there. So I actually consider it a soft, warm taupe. Now it's warm for a taupe in my opinion, but taupe is inherently a cool tone shade. So I would say on the spectrum itself, it falls right in that neutral range. So it, this particular shade is not neutral or cool, it's pretty balanced. And this third shade here is called Cool Brown. And you can see it's a really pretty, kind of a deeper brown here. You can see how creamy that is when I swipe that on. And yeah, it's really beautiful. You can definitely sheer this shade out and you'll see that in the eye swatch. Notice all three of these shades do have shimmer. All of the Just a Sec shades have a bit of shimmer and these are really great for just a quick one and done. Let's look at the eye swatches. Now looking at the eye swatches here, on the right eye, I am using a finger application while on the left eye, I'm using the Rose and Bed C31 eye brush. So this is a slanted synthetic eye brush. Really great for these types of products in my opinion because it's kind of got that great angle to get you know in the crease on the lid, in crevices, and so forth, and uh, really easy to use. So that's what I'm using on these swatches, and you, know, you can see that they go on beautifully. Obviously, you're gonna get slightly more pigmentation with the first application using a finger versus the brush, which will be a little bit softer. So with the brush, uh, you can see that I'm using two layers of product aside from the baby pink. Now I have to say, I've been using the Just A Sec eyeshadows since they originally came out. I have several that I've purchased in the past. And I have to say, I really do like these because they're quick and easy to use. They're something I reach for most often during the summer. You know, they've got that great subtle shimmer to them and they're just really easy to use. But they are something that I will get creasing on by the end of the day. But for the majority of the day, they are going to stay crease proof and you know, I really like how sheerly you can apply these and just kind of like the light, easy colors on here. So it's definitely a, a type of product I reach for when I want something on my face, but I'm not really interested in doing a full face of makeup. And this is the perfect product for that. So according to Jones Road, this innovative formula is weightless, cushiony, and imparts a crease-proof wash of luminous color across lids at the inner corner of the eyes and along the brow bone. Just a sec can be used to create depth, add highlight, or a bit of shimmer for a bright eye look. And I have to say, I agree with all of that. However, for me, it's not completely crease proof. Uh, for me, when I use the term crease proof, you know, that's something that's not creasing on me for like 12, 14 hours. I would say with this, I'm getting six to eight hours of wear without creasing. But if I'm using some sort of, you know, um, like a better base underneath, or I'm mixing this with powder, then of course I can get that longer wear with it. But, you know, on its own for the most part, I'm looking more at six to eight hours before I notice a little bit of faint creasing. This never turns into a creasy mess on me at all, but I will start to get like that faint creasing right in the crease area. So before we move on to the next product, I just wanna swatch a couple of the other ones that I have from before. This one here is actually probably my favorite. This one is Pewter. And you know, mine is over a year old and it's still, the formula feels great. It's cushiony and it still feels 
like moist, you know, it hasn't dried up at all. You can see pewter's got a little bit more of that silvery tone in there. And I actually think this is more of a cool taupe than the cool taupe shade, which again, is just a little bit more brown. And this one here is golden peach. This is one of the original shades. This is the baby pink. So I just wanted to show you how those compare side by side. Let me go ahead and swatch this. And again, this was the very first shade that I got. You know, if you're not familiar with Jones Road, they will introduce some of their products sometimes as a set before they like go public and are sold individually. And that's how I got this one. And you can see this is gonna be a little bit warmer. It's more golden, but you can definitely see that both of them have some peach in there. So I have to say, I really do like all three of the new shades. The Cool Taupe is my favorite, followed by the Cool Brown and then the Baby Pink. I think all three shades are a great addition to the lineup. And uh, the formula I find to be a really nice formula. So just really great for those quick, easy one and done looks in particular. Obviously you can mix and match these and do multiple shades on the eye at a time, but you know, their intended purpose of being kind of a one and done in just a sec, I think it is aptly named. Let's go ahead and move on to the Violette FR Bizu blushes. And I picked up I picked up the first one when they originally launched and that one here is in the shade Louise. So I'll leave my original video uh, linked down below in the description box, but you can see that you've got kind of this marbled appearance here. This is how big it, the stick is. And I think it's a really gorgeous product. I love having the mix of shades in there because I do think it adds some dimensionality to the blush. And so we've got one end here, this is plastic. And then we do have a brush on this end. And when I did my original video, I thought that this didn't come off, but it actually does. It unscrews. I just wasn't able to do that well enough. You can see mine's dirty right now, but I love how you can unscrew it for washing. So let me go ahead and swatch these. Let's put these on my hand here. And Louise is kind of your like more peachy nude kind of shade here. Just gonna blend that out. These are silky and creamy, but then they really set and stay on your face. You know, they perform really well. I would say that they are still not quite as good as the Clay de Peau cream blushes. Those are still my number one favorite, but these are right up there with them and their performance is on par with that. You know, I think maybe you get just slightly longer wear with the Clay de Peau cream blush without any fading. And you know, the Clay de Peau cream blush, I'm talking like, that's like past 15, 16 hours. These will last up, up to that length of time as well. So that one here is Louise. You can see you can really blend that out to a very light layer. And then we have Inez. And all of these were named after Violette's friends, which were her muses for this particular product launch. And you can see this is a really pretty kind of baby pink. You have a cooler pink and a warmer pink kind of blended in here together and the kind of you know the end result there is i think when you blend it out you get a little bit more warmth but you can see you've got kind of a mix it's a pretty balanced baby pink and last up we have aisa and I think this one is just so pretty. It's this gorgeous berry shade. I love having that lighter pink kind of mixed in there. And I just think this is just such a beautiful shade. Let's go ahead and blend up this shade here. This is the one I actually have on my cheeks right now. And I think all three of these are beautiful. Again, performance is fantastic. Let's take a look at cheek swatches. So as we're looking at the cheek swatches, I applied the right side using my fingers and then the left side, instead of using the brush that it came with, I used the Sonia G mini base brush. I do have multiples of those brushes, so I use a clean brush each time. As you can see, the product glides onto the cheek effortlessly. It's a very silky texture very easy to blend out. And according to Viola FR, it says, give your cheeks a kiss of cooler. This matte cream blush melts into skin to create a natural, fresh-faced flush. Each Bizu blush houses a swirl of marbled pigments to deliver a multi-dimensional wash of color that adds a healthy blush to your skin, while the attached brush allows you to easily apply and blend on the spot. So it's definitely something that you can easily carry in your bag. If you're traveling, this is a great cream blush to carry with you. This product is vegan, 
So, uh, you know, just something to note there. It is made in Italy and we have seven grams of product. And, you know, I just think it's such a great product and I'm really excited for these. I am hoping that this summer perhaps they will you know, release another shade. I'm looking for kind of like an orangey coral shade. I, you know, I'm, I don't know. I'm into that like bright pop of orange right now with purple. So I'm definitely hoping that they expand this line, but I think it is a gorgeous product. I love the Viola FR products that I've picked up from her line so far. And these are definitely one of my favorite cream blushes at the moment. So I just wanted to compare, these are the Makeup by Mario cream blushes. And that's kind of what the Viola FR blushes made me think of at first because, you know, packaging obviously is similar. We both have a removable brush on one end and then we have this, however, I mean, notice this size difference. And this shade here is the Plumberry. And I have to say, I really like the Makeup by Mario blushes. I think these are great. The, however, the Viola FR are matte the makeup by mario they're not like shimmery but they have a sheen um they are a little bit more satiny on the skin however you they can be matte but it's like a luminous matte so i do find you know they don't they, they just have like a little added uh light reflection to them so this one here is pale petal and this one made me think of the uh inez shade from Viola FR. You can see a little bit more of the sheen with this particular shade than you can with the Plumberry. And you can see there is going to be a difference in the shade. This is actually a little bit cooler in tone. Um, it's just, it's got a little bit more of a blue base to it than the Ines shade. And my closest to the shade Louise here would be the Earthy Pink, which is going to be much deeper, not quite as nude. It's more of a dusty rose. And this is my favorite cream blush. This is Clay de Pose cream blush in number four, Perfect Peach. Let's go ahead and put that one right here. This has a very similar silky texture to the Viola FR. So texturally, these feel very similar. I do feel like the uh, um, Clay de Pose just kind of sets a little bit, uh, not necessarily a little bit faster, but it doesn't when you are blending this out, you maintain a little bit more pigment and then it sets and kind of stays put, sets a little bit longer. And uh, when you're blending this one out, it just, it goes a little bit more sheerly. So yeah, that's kind of like the biggest difference. And then again, the Clay de Peau, I get slightly more wear, but honestly, if you're wearing it even for like a full day of work or something like that, you're not gonna notice any difference in performance of these two. So those are my closest comparisons for the Viola FR blushes. I think they are fantastic. I absolutely love them. And if you haven't tried things from her brand yet, I would definitely recommend doing so. Now let's go ahead and move on to the last new product for the day, the new Makeup by Mario. These are the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. And I have to say, I almost didn't pick these up because the matte lipsticks <laughs> that he came out with last year, I was so excited for those I bought a few of those and I was so disappointed. You know, they were just, they were kind of dry. And then certain shades were more dry than others. And I just, I actually just ended up getting rid of those. <laughs> so they were just not great. So I almost didn't pick these up, but I'm so glad I did because these are actually really nice. I, you can see that they maintain this like glossy look. They're not gonna be like a long wearing glossy lip look, for example, like the Chanel Ultra 10 U duos, but they are going to last, you know, depending what you're doing with your mouth, but like four to five hours or so before I feel the need to retouch. I've been wearing these for several days. So I've been testing them. I have to say they are fantastic. So I picked up three shades, but I might pick up more during the Sephora sale. So right now, this one here is the one that I have on my lips. This is Cool Pink. And you can see it's a really beautiful pink shade. You know, this, it feels like a slick gloss on the lips. Um, there's definitely no sticky or tacky feeling on here. If you do have issues with like fine lines and bleeding and feathering around the lips, that would still be an issue with this product. You'd probably want to use a lip pencil here. This one here is shade soft blush, right? Yes. And this is going to be a little bit, uh, warmer in tone than the cool pink. You can see.
you can see that this has a little bit more peach in there and this has a little bit more mauve. And then the last shade I picked up is Smoky Pink. And this one here is really more brown. So it's brown, there's a tiny bit of pink in there, but really it's a soft brown with a little touch of mauve. And um, yeah, you know, overall, I think they are three great colors. I do think that the photos online don't quite represent the colors completely accurately, but they're not terrible. So let's go ahead and talk about these while we look at the lip swatches. So according to Makeup by Mario, this is a full coverage, water-infused liquid lip color that hydrates and plumps with a weightless glossy feel. It says, drench your lips in highly pigmented color without any of the stickiness with this innovative water-infused formula. A single swipe glosses lips in high shine refractive oils and encapsulated water to plump lips with moisture. The angled cushion wand allows for an even controlled application. So I will give you a closer look at that wand in just a minute, but I have to say the wand is nice. It's a nice cushiony wand. However, if you are looking for precision from this, I do find it just to be a little bit too fluffy <laughs> on the tip to really get true precision. And I showed you that here in the lip swatches as I'm kind of outlining with it. It's definitely something that can be done, but if you want something more precise, you know, perhaps if this had a finer tip, that would be a little bit better there. These retail for 24 US dollars, and right now there are 13 shades in the line. And this is a new permanent product. And I have to say, I think it's a really comfortable lip product. It talks about plumping and, you know, I can occasionally get a little whiff or, you know, almost feels like there's a little mint on my lips, but this is not gonna be like your traditional, like minty plumping lip gloss or something like that. It's mm -hmm. definitely very, very subtle. As a matter of fact, if I go and actually smell the product itself, I smell alcohol and kind of like a fruity herbal scent to it. So I don't really smell mint. Uh, it's just once in a while I kind of get a little bit of whiff upon application only. It's not something that sticks around. And it's weird though, if I go and smell the wand, I don't really smell that. So I found that to be interesting. Uh, there's not really any tingling or anything like that with this product upon application. It's very comfortable. I do feel kind of that uh, evaporative feeling of the alcohol and yeah, I think overall it's a really nice product. The product that it made me think of first were actually the new Clay de Peau lip shines. So let's take a look at some of those. So I don't necessarily have shades that match, but these are the Clay de Peau, uh, these are the Rouge Creme Brillante or Clay de Peau Cream Rouge lipsticks. And this one here is going to be shade number 201, Calanthe Orchid. I have to say that this wand, I love the shape of the wands on here. Let me show you this compared to the Makeup by Mario wand. You can see that the Makeup by Mario wand here, let's have that focus. You can see it's a little bit fuzzier wand. You have kind of a blunt tip at the top. And then the Clay de Peau here, is going to be more, a little bit more triangular. You've got kind of that finer point and the actual like foam fuzzy part of it is going to be a little bit finer and thinner. It's just, it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more refined, but the price point obviously is very different on these two products. So let me go ahead and show you Calanthe Orchid here. Let's put that one right here. You can see it's a really beautiful shade. And I want you to notice how the oils and everything are reacting with my skin. And we'll see what happens after a couple minutes with the Clay de Peau as well. But in general, I do find that the Clay de Peau doesn't have quite as much migration as the Makeup by Mario. I also wanted to show you 206 Caliandra, which is one of my most used shades. I wear this, you know, a lot. So uh, this one here, you can see it's gonna be a cooler rosy pink here, but really gorgeous shade, really like these. And then I also wanted to show you this, um, this is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum that Makeup by Mario came out with last year. I like the actual product, but I hate the packaging because it's one of those ones that once you advance it up, you cannot advance it back down. This is the shade Mauve Glow, oh gosh. That just kind of made a mess. It's a very soft kind of glossy balm stick. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you how that compares there. 
but this is a really nice comfortable product but you can see it is going to be very very soft that's from going over uh you know my you know veins and bones in my hand there so looking at the new makeup by mario products you can see they have a high shine finish you can see light reflection but you don't see any actual shimmer particles this lip serum product from makeup by mario there is a little touch of shimmer there's a little bit of micro glitter in there the clay de Poe does not have any. These are gonna be a little bit more pigmented than the Makeup by Mario. And you can see, even after sitting on my hand, you can see how much the oils are kind of migrating with all of the Makeup by Mario products versus the clay de Poe. So if you are somebody who struggles with feathering and bleeding of lip products, I would recommend the clay de Poe over the Makeup by Mario. If you're looking for lots of bright colors or you know, just like a nice, you know, liquid lipstick, I think the Makeup by Mario are great. So I think they're both great products, but it's gonna depend what you're looking for and your budget. So that sums up all of our products. I do wanna bring your attention to my lips here because you can see that I did not put on a lip pencil and there has been a little bit of migration it is spreading a little bit on my lips. So personally, I will wear a lip pencil with this in the future, but I think it is a really nice product. In summation, I would have to say, I do really like all the products that I tried today. The, uh, you know, La Bouche Rouge fragrances, you know, I, really love that rose fragrance. Like really love that one. So definitely gonna get a full size of that when I run out of that sample tube. And then the Viola FR blushes are incredible. They have made it towards the top of my favorite cream blushes. You know, they're incredibly great. And then the Just A Sec eyeshadows I think are a great quick, easy one and done type of product. Really easy to kind of carry with you if you're traveling or something as well. Makeup by Mario I think is a really nice lip product, very comfortable. But again, I don't think they're necessarily going to be right for everybody. It's kind of, kind of depend on you know what you're looking for. And yeah, I think everything ended up, you know, definitely having some pluses. So I'd love to know your thoughts on these products. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you very soon. Have a wonderful day.